Alright guys, the Iceman here on the Jeffrey Rose YouTube channel. Guys, look, you know, I'm watching some videos tonight. Uh, I watched the video from Gemini888 um, showing all the comments and, the, and all the hate he got about the John Cena deal and whatnot. And, you know, I mean, I actually saw all those comments before he had put it in a video because I watched the video, I, you know, I looked at all the comments and whatnot. But you want to know something? Here's the thing. You go out and you get a job. Doesn't matter where it is. And your boss tells you to go do this. Are you going to say no? Or are you going to go and do it? It's the bottom line. What are you going to do? What do you think John Cena does? He goes to work every day in the WWE. And he's told by the higher ups, well, this is what we have planned for this week and or down the road. This is what you're going to do. What John Cena supposed to say? No, I'm not going to do it and get fired. Why would you why would you want to go against what they want to have you do when you get paid such big money? All right. And then a lot of other people are saying, well, John Cena sucks as a wrestler. Bottom line, he doesn't suck as a wrestler. Um, he's not the greatest in the world, but um, his matches with CM Punk were epic. Um, they helped make CM Punk bigger uh, than what he was prior to all those matches. Um, and for a matter of fact, go back in the days. Now, the Triple H... DVD video came out today. Okay? Now, think about this. You mean to tell me Triple H overall is a better wrestler than John Cena? Think about this. Go back. Yes, he has good matches with certain people. But is his wrestling skills better than John Cena? I don't think so. Triple H got the pedigree. That's pretty much all he does for a finishing move. Or he has a sledgehammer. He's in the ring. And he's whacking people in the head with it. I mean, Triple H was sort of like made big. And it was because of Shawn Michaels. When Shawn Michaels created DX. People forget about this. It was Shawn Michaels group DX. Triple H was brought in. Shawn Michaels left. He had the back injury. He had to leave the WWE. Shawn Michaels was going through a lot of personal problems. He did drugs. He was doing everything. He left. Triple H took over the group. And that was it. But Triple H overall is not a better wrestler than John Cena. He's not a better wrestler than CM Punk. I can name pretty much everybody on the WWE roster that's a better wrestler than Triple H. But yet his DVD came out today. And on that DVD, you're going to hear a lot of interviews with a lot of superstars. And they're going to praise Triple H. But understand this. It's a DVD that comes out by the WWE. All these guys that are on that video and they're doing their little interviews or their commentary, they're employed by the WWE. Understand this. Now, on Gemini's video, he's talking, somebody made a comment about um, if John Cena ever broke Ric Flair's record to be a travesty and whatnot. First off, I don't think anybody's going to break Ric Flair's record. Um, unfortunately, in the last 10, 15 years, Ric Flair has been, I mean, shameful in the world of professional wrestling. Uh, I think he should have gone out when he had the choice, when he had the chance, and he didn't. Now, Triple H is a 13-time world champion. That's the figure Everybody's got to focus on. Will John Cena tie Triple H? 
Will he ever get another win more than Triple H? Now we got the problem with Randy Orton. Whom, if he wins at the next pay-per-view at Battleground, he will tie John Cena for 12-time world champion. And then they're both one away from Triple H's 13. So what that leaves us to believe is, is Triple H going to get back in the ring and eventually get another world title? Or is Orton and Cena always going to remain one behind Triple H? I do think John Cena has one more WWE title run in him, and I hope he gets it, um, whether it be heel or whether it be face. For a man, I, and, and I will say this explicitly, John Cena has done more for the WWE than Triple H has in his whole career. Granted, Triple H is a McMahon guy. He's married to Stephanie. Um, it doesn't matter. John Cena brought in more money, more revenue to the WWE than Triple H ever did. The facts. It's the facts. But people can believe what they want to believe. Uh, you're going to anyway, and you're going to throw your negative comments um, because you hate John Cena. But remember what I said. You know, look at Randy Orton. You guys think he's great in the ring? Come on. He's boring in the ring. Triple H did the same thing every time he was in the ring. So you tell me, how is John Cena so much different than these two guys? I think the most exciting person in the ring in a wrestling match is Daniel Bryant today. CM Punk is next. And without the competitors that CM Punk has had in the past, CM Punk wouldn't be the CM Punk in the WWE today. You guys, you know, really think about this. And get, get your heads on straight. I mean, instead of negatively commenting about John Cena that he sucks or CM Punk that he sucks, I mean... Go back and look. I mean, Cena and Edge had great matches. A lot of people said Edge sucked because he was a very short-reigned champion. It doesn't matter. Edge was an exciting part of the WWE when he was around. He drew fans. He drew ratings. It's the bottom line. It's a business. It's a business. It's about what you bring in for money. You do what your employer tells you what to do. If not, they let you go. That's it, guys. This is the Iceman here on the Jeffrey Rose YouTube channel. I wasn't planning on doing another video tonight, but after watching Gemini's video, I really had to. So, Peace out, everybody. Have a great night.